Yeah, that I mean that certainly factors in, um, and and we'll probably pick pick some days at some point to get DJ a starter two in a row, or spend a couple of days working at third, doing some work at first base. So yeah, I always feel like that's you know always in our back pocket to to have DJ's flexibility. Yes, really. It, in, in a given, yeah, given days, absolutely. When it makes sense, yes, I would move him to third or, or first and not, not really hesitate about that. I think on some level, I'm interested in all of them. You know, I, th- I think it's really good that they get implemented at the minor league level so that we can get a feel in this, you know, like, all right, what's this look like? What do we think? And, and just get, you know, as much evaluation of it, you know, because, you know, I don't think you should just lightly uh, throw a rule change somewhere. So I think implementing them in different ways in the minor leagues and different leagues and seeing how they play out. I think that's important. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely interested to see how, how it plays out. I wouldn't say I like one or don't, you know, I, I know, I know there is an initiative um, for major league baseball to, you know, kind of quote gets that more athleticism in there. So to, to make the running game, maybe a little more a part of things. Um, so I think, you know, things are definitely coming, coming down over the next year or two that are going to be a little bit different. Um, but I think instead of just incorporating some things, I think if you have the opportunity to implement some rules um, ahead of time in the minor leagues to just to get some better information and see how it looks, see how it plays out. I think that's important. But nothing, nothing that I'm saying, oh, I love that or I hate that. It's definitely how I'd like to start. Um, you know, there's always circumstances that come up that, that um, you know, maybe, you know, put you in a little different scenario throughout the course of the year. But, but to start, um, that's certainly something that I would like to, I would like to see. And hopefully we're in a position to do that. But at the end, we're, we're going to go with what we think makes the most sense. But as I sit here right now, in my mind, I'm kind of looking at it as 13 and 13. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm looking specifically at Bruce has been so good so far, uh, but I would think, you know, we might talk him out of options. So that, you know, that leaves you with some tough choices there. I wonder if that could push you, you know, in another way in, in terms of that. Yeah, I mean, like you're looking at it, we're looking at it. Um, we'll, we'll just see. It has a way of working itself out too. And, you know, while we're only a couple of weeks away from, from that decision, that two weeks can sometimes look to be a long time away and things can change or evolve or declare themselves for you. So we'll just see how the next couple of weeks plays out and, and then maybe we'll have a very difficult decision. Luke is, is, you know, such an aggressive, I mean, the way you put it, football mentality. I mean, he's, he's going 900 miles an hour and, you know, sometimes on the bases, he literally thinks he's going 900 miles an hour when he's going much slower. So we, we do remind him to, to make sure he's making solid choices on the bases. Not that we want to limit his aggressiveness, not that we, you know, everyone should be taking an extra base when they can, but it's also, you know, being aware of who you are and what your speed is and being able to make solid reads and decisions in real time. So I feel like he's done a good job of getting better at that over time. I think yesterday's play, for example, was more about him wanting to show himself that, hey, I feel good. I want to let it rip here. I want to get into a slide and things like that. So, um, but every now and then we got to say, you know, rein it in a little bit, Luke. And, and that was a relief to you yesterday, Aaron, to see that, I mean, he was hustling pretty good even the first base later. So the knee seems fine, the left knee. Yeah, and then he'd been checking on him, obviously, this morning. Um, you know, he I, I could tell he was excited about how he woke up and um, how he was feeling. He'll, he'll, he should get some at-bats today off Monty, uh, you know, back at GMS.